Hi and welcome to my new video. Apache Spark 3.3.0 is already there and it's a great moment to see what's new in the framework. I'm starting the what's new in Apache Spark series by joins and in the article which is linked just below in the description of this video you can learn about partition storage joins and row level runtime filter joins that I will demonstrate in this video in addition to the explanation I gave in the blog post. So to start I have two classes with the demo code which looks very straightforward. It's a sample generation of Parquet files and then later converting to the logical views and joining from a SQL query with a condition on the bigger side of the dataset. And the single difference is in this configs. So the new row level field runtime filter joins are defined in these two properties so you will either enable the bloom filter or semi join reduction and i will show you how both are working under the hood by running these two examples each time enabling one of the filters and disabling another let's start now with the bloom filter and we will see mostly a class which is called inject runtime filter. So we have here the apply method that I'm going to debug. So the code is up and running and we should hit the first breakpoint very soon. Yeah, we have our apply for this inject runtime filter logical rule that will go to this try in inject runtime filter. And the first thing to notice is that that we apply it only to the equi joins and only if the days all conditions are met. So the first condition verifies whether the number of already applied filters is lower than the threshold which by default is equal to 10. The second check ensures that there is no dynamic partition planning subquery. Another one ensures that there is no there, that the runtime bloom filter or runtime redu semi join reduction weren't already added to the query plan. And the final check verifies whether the join condition is a sample expression and not a compute intensive operation like user-defined function or regular expressions. And whenever all these conditions are, are met, so let me just go back to this part, Spark will go to this sub, uh, to this method. So we are now on a, so now we are analyzing the insert into so the generation of of parquet files now we have the create view so there is this is not our left join i will just simply skip this and yes now we can see that we are analyzing the left outer join so since we didn't have we don't have any filters yet we don't have the dynamic partition priming and logically we also don't have the bloom filter because the query plan doesn't contain these operators that I will detail just in a minute additionally the expression is a sample column so it's not expensive and all this makes that we can go farther in the optimization and try to inject the filter. So to inject the filter the logical rule verifies the join type. So for the left side application the join can be only inner left semi or right outer. When it comes to the other conditions we will see them later like filter has benefit but you can see that the can prune left 
returned false because our join type is the left outer so now the rule will check whether we already have the runtime filter runtime row, row level runtime filter it's not the case obviously or whether we have the join type appropriate for applying it in the future and it's the case because you can see that we are verifying the right side and our join type is the left outer join now we are going to this filtering has benefits which is quite interesting function you can see it also by the way to introduce two concepts filter application side and filter creation side as the name indicate indicate filter creation side is the join side where the filter will be created and application side is the side, is the side that will use this filter to eliminate the data to join and an important thing to notice one of the main goals of this optimization was to reduce the amount of the data to join so to for example reduce the shuffle so the first uh, so the first verification checks whether the origin for the join key is a leaf node so for our, our case it's a sample local relation so it holds later it verifies if so it's the first check sorry the next second one verifies whether the filter is selective so obviously it has to be a sample expression and be likely selective which means that it either must fit into this in or uh, binary uh, sorry string regex expressions or most importantly to this binary comparison which is something that you are using probably very often in the queries so the equal sign the great, great sign less sign or variance with the or equal for us is the case because we are uh, the, our condition is meant to to, to be a equal a letter is because here we are verifying not the join condition but the filter condition so all this should be true and another thing so i just missed the breakpoint above is this check whether the join type is a shuffle join because as i said before this optimization tends to reduce the size of the data to shuffle and there is no reason to apply it on the broadcast joins which by definitions by definition work on the small enough data set to be built on the driver and sent to the executors and finally there is also one condition on the satisfy byte size requirement which means that the logical rule checks whether the side of the application so the right part of our case is bigger than the threshold of creating uh, the bloom filter so in that case it means that uh, scanning the whole right side will be more costly than creating the bloom filter and if you take a look at the configuration i explicitly decreased this threshold to the value smaller than the max size of course because i'm working on small data set and it's much easier than building a big one to, to illustrate the the feature so all these conditions are met and we can inject the filter now on the right side and we will inject the bloom filter so one thing to notice here in the second demo the i will explicitly omit the previous con discussed conditions and we'll go directly to inject in subquery filter because all the previous conditions I, I already discussed are exactly the same only this part will change so since we have a small preference for the bloom filter we will try to inject bloom filter first and the bloom filter is insert only if the size of the left part in our case so the part that we we were going to use to create the move filter is smaller than the run filter creation threshold so it's 10 
megabytes by default and that's something I and that's something I didn't change for for this case so and we can obviously continue to by creating the broom filter and the broom filter is a broom filter aggregate is composed uh, the broom filter is composed of a broom filter aggregate that will of course create a broom filter on top of the aggregate side filter creation side which in our case I repeat myself is the left part of the join and that will be wrapped in a subquery and called from a bloom filter might contain operation if filter node sorry and this filter node as well as this aggregate the bloom filter aggregate are using something that I didn't know before covering this this join type namely the spark sketch project that contains among others boom filter but you can also see other approximate uh, algorithms like a continent sketch and I would like to explore this project once in the future I don't know yet when but it's on my backlog so once we have this sub, sub tree composed the injection method will add it to, to the logical plan and we can see that in the we can see that in the explain printed just here you can see that we retrieve our might contain filter and the brown filter aggregate so let me now focus on the second part the second demo for the semi join reduction the code is exactly the same except this configuration that is switched between the these two properties and now i will run the code and also as i said before and as i said before skip this explanation part and go directly to the inject method okay so now you can see that we are reaching our join left outer types so the verifications are exactly the same since the code is exactly the same and finally we end up we end up in in this inject in subquery filter that will start by by checking the broadcast possibility of of the left side of our join because uh, the goal is to not shuffle the data so if for any any reason the semi join will be translated to a shuffle join it's not worthy to apply this modification and it's clearly mentioned in this comment and this sub query so semi join reduction optimization it's much simpler than bloom filter because it contains only a, an in sub query with the filter application site aggregate that will be used to join with the right side and eliminate the right side rows not matching the left part and we can see this optimization in the plan that is printed after calling the explain method so you can see our aggregate just here and the left semi join transformation a little bit above so this optimization comes with the storage partitioned joins that is only an api change so i couldn't demonstrate it here very easily but if you want to discover more about these features I invite you to the article which is linked in the description of this video and please also click on the links from the read more section pointing out the Jira tickets implementing both optimization so the storage partition joints and the row level runtime filter joints because both contain some interesting details like for example for the row level runtime filters 
you will find you will find the TPCDS benchmark results with the queries optimized by these uh, methods. It was Bartosz Kuniaszczyk from whitingforhot.com. Thanks for watching.